Welcome back to another episode of Grizzly Books True Crime. I told you, you can expect a lot of content from me. You guys asked for me to look at this case, and now I can't stop looking at it. So, <laughs> here I am all day, every day, with no amount of sleep, but lots of lemon cake. So that's the good news. My name is Gizla K. If you're new here, um, hi. Um, this is Grizzly Books True Crime. If you want to become an OG, an original Grizzly, all you got to do is subscribe. It's free. Carve up that bell. Um, so that you don't miss, you know, all the live streams that come up and all these, I don't know, surprise videos that pop up <laughs> now almost hour after hour as I find more things. There's just too much to share in this case. This case can only grow and grow and grow, right? Like what is going to happen? What is going on? I got to keep up with it. I got a backlog of work. I got to analyze interviews. I got to find the police report. But for now, I want to show you this map. So um, before I do that, let me play you my intro and then... You can take care of the subscribe button and then we'll get started. Okay, so we are back and I wanted to show you this map because remember the TikToker, I keep wanting to call her Amanda, but I think it's Miranda Baker. The lady on TikTok who said that she picked up um, Brian Laundrie while he was hitchhiking alone. He told her that he was hitchhiking along Snake River for days. She said he looked kind of scruffy, but didn't smell dirty, didn't look dirty. He was wearing long pants and hiking boots and um, I think a long sleeve shirt, she said, and yeah, then she just found it a little really strange that he's like, I'll give you $200, you know, to give me a ride. That was weird. And he said they were camping up north. He wanted to get back to his fiance or, I mean, she wrote to her mom in the text. He wanted to get back to his wife. That was interesting too, but um, fiance and that she said any good hiker should know direction and that he, he would have known that they were traveling south and that he was actually wanting to head north so again i'm speculating that he wanted an alibi at this point and that's why he hitchhiked so you could get a bunch of people as alibis the the trip southward and then again the the, the trip northward back to the campsite where the van was because he drove home in the van by himself this we know and he has since disappeared. If you are not up to date on this case, please just go and follow my playlist, play all the videos. I've gone from the top, a whole timeline of the events, and I'm working my way through it layer by layer by layer and making videos for you every time there's an update. So if you see bags under developing under my eyes, you know why. I'm on the case. I don't know if you guys used to watch Paula Zahn. I really like that lady. On the case with Paula Zahn. Well, now you're on the case with Gizzle K. <laughs> so I wanted to show you this because when you look at that TikTok video, it's a little bit difficult to like see exactly what's going on, you know? So I wanted to show you on the maps because I do like looking at maps, okay? I used to be an airline pilot for nine years. So I looked at maps a lot. Um, I have no sense of direction on my own. If you throw me in the wild, I'll be like, now, wait, what now? I'll figure it out, you know, based on knowledge that I have. But it'll take me a while. I don't just like instinctively know like, okay, wait, that's east, north, south, west, cool. I got to look at a map. So maps have always been my friend. I love maps and I wanted to show you. So I typed in Snake River, okay, because he said he'd been camping along Snake River, okay? So we're going to zoom in here. Um, if you look here, Grand Teton, Teton, Grand Teton National Park, that's where they said they were, okay? That's where they were camping, so supposed last known location of Gabby Petito, even though she sent her mom a text or he sent her mom a text to say no signal in Yosemite, which made no sense at all because that's far from here. Um, so here is the national park where they were camping. He said they'd been camping all along Snake River, okay, or hiking. He'd been hiking for days without his fiance all along Snake River. So I typed in Snake River and it takes us all the way to the top here. But you can see it, it's here and here. You see? So he could have been hiking all along here. Snake River, look. See? There. That's a campsite. But he said um, he'd been camping just with his tarp. He had a backpack and just a tarp. 
sleeping under stars for days, okay? Um, don't know how I did that without food or water or anything. But I did this route, the Snake River, you can see it goes here and it goes here. So if we do this, here's the Yellowstone South Entrance. You see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've got the South Entrance there. Now this lady picked him up. Hold on. I just want to see because she was talking about Jackson Hole, which is down here. Jackson Hole. Hello. Where are we? Damn. Look there. It's all the way down there. So. All of this is Snake River. Look. All of that. Can you see that? Snake River. All of this. So you could have been anywhere on this path, right? Anywhere. But remember when we looked at the map that I prepared for you guys earlier? I'll go back there. Sorry, excuse this. Um, yeah, that's where he said he was a. The last text said Yosemite National Park, which is very far away. You can see it's <laughs> like 900 miles away. Hold on. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find the slide. Okay, so there we go. And that's the zone of death, as you can see there. So that's far off to the western side, West Yellowstone National Park, Idaho Falls. We'll look at that now. I just wanted to show you. There is the zone of death, okay? So Jackson is there. I'm just looking for myself as well, exactly where. We'll go back to that now. Okay, but if we look, you can see Snake River. It's a very windy river all over the place here. Look, he could have been there or there. But she picked him up. Um, her and her boyfriend had been in Grand Teton National Park. And they were traveling south towards Jackson Hole. See? And she said that she picked him up. He, pay, he wanted to pay $200 to have a ride for 10 miles. See, Snake River is right here. Right here. Okay? So, from here to here, Jackson Hole, to Jackson and Jackson Hole, which she said he freaked out about. He did not want to go there. Nowhere near there. Why? Why is he freaking out about that? So, while they were driving southward um, towards Jackson Hole, he was freaking out, saying he didn't want to go there. Here's Jackson Hole Airport, okay? Didn't want to be seen at the airport for some reason. Interesting. So if we go back up here, there, they were driving from here. Jackson Lake Dam. So as soon as they were driving here and they crossed over this dam, this is where he freaked out and said he needs to get out right away. And he got out over here. And then we haven't heard from anyone else yet. Here's Snake River. See? So he could have literally been like, you know, like right here. And then had this little drive to get his alibi going. Okay, and right here he's like freaking out. He told her um, that he would, he told the lady that picked him up and her boyfriend. Um, he was talking mostly to the boyfriend. But he said that over here, don't worry, he would just get another ride and hitchhike back northward back to the campsite because he wanted to get back to his fiance, which she then typed to her mom that he wants to get back to his wife. So it was obviously his fiance. But yes. Um, so yeah, he got dropped off here. And the last thing we know, he was back home on the September 1st in the van. So this is the place I just wanted to show you on the map so that you can see it. That this is the dam where he was like freaking out to not cross over to the side of Snake River. See, I think that's why he was freaking out. He just, he's like, no, 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 no. I just got to get back over here. So weird. Like he wanted to stay on this north side of Snake River. So Snake River is all the way here. This Snake River is all the way here. Look there. So it could have been even all along this. See? Um, and here's the lodge company. There's where they may have entered. I don't know the park. If I zoom out, there is Yellowstone National Park. 
And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more because I want to see there's Idaho. The zone of death. I can't see it now because of that map. Um, let's just see the map like this. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> sorry for the bicycle. I told you I'm in the Netherlands. It always defaults to bicycles. <laughs> I can set it differently, but I just left it like that so that we can really see the paths. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Let's just go here again. Well, there it is. Yellowstone National Park. And then I just can't find on here now. Idaho Falls. Okay. Wyoming. Go back here. There's Wyoming. Idaho. Idaho Falls. Okay. Getting there. Okay. So there's that zone of death, I think. This. Yes, I think it's this. So what I was showing before is that they could have, you see, driven, they or he, I don't know, but they maybe driven up on this road and entered the park like that. Down to Snake River. Something could have happened here. Somewhere here, in this block, right here. And then he was maybe hiking his way um, southward. They probably drove in here, through here, something may have happened in this area. And um, as you can see now, clearly on this map, there's Grand Teton National Park, the mountain they say there, mountain range, yes. And then he catches a ride here, <laughs> Beaver Creek, <laughs> catches a ride here at Snake River here. And freaks out that he doesn't want to go across. So now I just wanted to show you that. Just so that you can see the map clearly yourself. What it looks like. Where he was hitchhiking. It's so weird that he was doing that on August 29th. And if you watched my previous video, which I've also just uploaded. Remember, um, we looked at Gabby's Instagram account. Um, I'm going to go there again now. He, on August 29th, was hiking alone. There was a post on the 19th of August and then on the 26th of August. And on the 26th of August, the post said, Happy Halloween, Happy Halloween with a fly and a pumpkin, which is very, very strange. A fly and a pumpkin, butterflies in the background, as if metamorphosis and all this philosophical type of stuff. I believe that he wrote that Instagram post. I believe that he made the Instagram post, that one and the one before. There's no location tags on those two posts, but all the other posts have location tags. Interesting, right? Um, yes, so now, are you happy with the map? Did you see it nice and clear? I'll show you again on um, the satellite. Okay, so one more time. He did not want to go to Jackson Hole or Jackson Hole Airport. He did not realize that Jackson, Jackson Hole is the same thing. He's like, no, 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 not there or there, but same thing. Snake River runs all along here. He was supposedly hiking all along there with just a backpack and a tarp. And he freaked out here. Freaking out over there. Did not want to go any further from there. They dropped him off here. And then he went back that way. Weird, right? Maybe he thought he'll be arrested, I don't know, at the airport or something. Maybe he's seen too many movies, you know? Let's just zoom into this. Uh-huh. It's like a little parking area. Yeah, I think this is where they were. I think, based on the video. Or here. Wow. But that's where he turned around and obviously got another ride, so let's hope someone else comes forward now. Let's hope they're watching. Because then he would have gone back, got another ride, um, probably where? Wherever the van was. Might have even been here. We don't know. I don't know. I don't think the van would have just been parked in a very remote area. And I don't think that it would have been parked too far from here. And he would probably go on this road. Let's do that, actually. Wait. Let's do... Hold on. I'm going to do this for you quickly. I'm going to say, take this one off and take this one off. OK, 
Okay. Jackson Dam. We'll do Jackson Hole for a second. And directions would be to 4343 Wabaso Avenue, because that's where it ended up. Mm hmm Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you again. That is the trip he took home. He hiked on the, he hitchhiked on the 29th by himself. No Gabby in sight with these people. And then headed home, arriving at home on the, sorry, I'll put the car thing on now so you can see. <laughs> 201 hours of cycling. So he headed home for uh, 2,500 or 2,388 miles, depending on the route that he took. Um, remember the parents, Gabby's parents are looking for her in Wyoming. Which makes sense. It makes sense to me why they're looking there. Hmm. I understand. Um, and so there's Jackson Hall. Where's that little dam wall there? Jackson Lake Dam. Look. Are you looking? <laughs> Here's the dam. Uh, sorry, my head is in the way. Hold on. Here's the dam where he freaked out. Okay. See that? Freaking out, said, don't worry, I'll just get a ride back over. He went back over. And guess what? He would have been along this road somewhere. Here's Snake River. He's probably all along here. They, they have to look here for her. And this road magically meets up with the road that he took home. See? It's also called Moron. <laughs> Morin. <laughs> it's not how you spell Moron. It's Morin. But still. Wow. And there he would have taken... This road here, boom, straight back home. So I'm guessing you understand now, because people are saying, why on earth are the parents looking in Wyoming? That's why. That is why, everyone. That is why. Look at that. Wow. Hmm. interesting the wedding tree wow i just look at snake river on this map man it's huge because it, it goes all the way up there amazingly along the road that he'd have to drive to go back home mm -hmm. so i think he was just getting an alibi before he left that's what i think and yep they're looking in wyoming Let me know what you think. Tell me your thoughts. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, become an OG and original Grizzly. Hit the bell so you see when I next upload about this case or the Chris Watts case or whatever case I'm deep diving next. I do all sorts of content on here. There's content for every single person, I believe. There's movie nights, there's case club, there's interviews with former um, law enforcement officers, NYPD homicide detectives, true crime authors and true crime podcasters, things like that. Um, so I've got interviews, I've got live streams on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays where we deep dive cases. Like now we're busy with the Letitia Stauch case. It's actually Gannon Stauch's case, the 11-year-old Colorado boy who went missing and then was found murdered by his stepmother who's awaiting trial. So we're analyzing that. We've looked at Scott Peterson, that case. Um, all kinds of things, you know. We look at all kinds of cases in the live streams. And then on top of that, I'm looking at this this case that's unfolding right now. And then I'm also busy um, analyzing every single page, page by page, of the Chris Watts Discovery document. So if any of that sounds of interest to you, become part of this community. It's a really great community, very supportive people, um, very hilarious people as well, which is very refreshing because sometimes we need that because this, wow, this can get very, very heavy. So it's really been so nice to build a community on here and to have such wonderful people on here i've got a merch range for you guys i'm a true crime author so if you want to check out my books all the links to that are in the description box below i also make true crime watercolor art so if you want to order a custom piece of anything you are welcome to contact me my email address is on my about page
Okay, that's it for now. <laughs> it's like 20 minutes. I thought this would be like a five minute one. You know what I mean? Um, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, glad that you could see the map very, very clearly now. And I will see you in the next one.